And now to a one and only exclusive. A cute little pooch is now dealing with a rough recovery. The dog's owner says it was attacked by a pit bull. And the little guy just had surgery. Let's go to local 10's Terrell for an A live now in Plantation with the exclusive tonight. Terrell. And there were two dogs behind this attack that played out here in a parking lot in the 5300 block of West Broward Boulevard. All of the dogs were leashed, but the bigger animals overpowered their owner and pounced on that much smaller six pound pooch. This little dog is so special. Jewel is just seven months old and had a rough time from the very start. <laughs> She was two ounces. I'm a show breeder. I've been doing this many years. I've never had a two ounce puppy survive. The little Havanese pup even survived a bout with hydrocephalus or water on the brain. But during a recent trip while en route to a groomer this past Friday, it proved to be nearly fatal once again when Jewel was attacked by two bigger bully breed dogs. Diane Moshe's sister-in-law, 76 year old Betty Moshe, was knocked to the ground and injured her hip. The dogs got to Jewel. I think she had three puncture wounds on her body and they shook her. By the time my sister-in-law got up, uh, the pit bulls were off the dog, but, but Jewel, was, Jewel was just laying there. The injured pup has been in a specialized veterinary hospital ever since, getting a surgery just today on its injured spine. It's a very delicate operation, particularly because she's only seven months old. A costly incident that will run tens of thousands of dollars, which is why Diane Moshe, who cared for Jewel in the beginning, is hoping a GoFundMe page can help to close the gap on the expenses. The Moshe's and dog lovers alike Hope the survival instincts can kick in once again. I just need her to pull out one more miracle. And police were called. A report was filed and animal control is now involved. Those bigger dogs are back with their owner, at least for now. But as far as Jules' owner, we know that she is still awaiting a call from the vet's office about the outcome of the surgery to its damaged spine. The link for that GoFundMe, by the way, is on our website at local10.com. We're live from Plantation tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.